up guys? It's been a while since, well, Granger and I did the sit down interview last episode, but it's been a while since we've actually caught you guys up on what's been going on in our lives. It's been a crazy, uh, gosh, crazy time since we've been back from Israel. We have, I have a, a list of things that we've been doing. So I went and spoke um, at a conference called Testify. I have a little bit of that right here. But it is such a joy to be with you ladies here tonight. And we have been in prayer for all of the hearts that are in this room. And I'm so thankful that you guys are, are welcoming me here. And I just want to say what a, pr a privilege it is that we get to gather in a room like this and have fellowship and profess our faith in Christ. And there's so many around the world who don't have that liberty. So it's not lost on me that we get to do that. And I'm grateful to be here. We also had Lincoln's tonsil surgery. We finally got his tonsils out. So it is. it was a hard, what, 10, at least 10 days of yeah. him not being well. He had tonsils, adenoids, he had a lot of work done in his nose and sinuses, and he was hurting pretty badly. One thing we didn't realize was um, the ear pain that would come with getting the adenoids out. So he would wake up in the middle of the night, and I woke up enough times in the beginning to give him medicine, but one night, I think I might've just been so tired that my alarm either did not go off or I slept through it and I missed his window of medicine and he came in just crying and shaking and his teeth were chattering and the ear pain was so, so intense. We navigated through that. He is all well, but I'll show you his tonsil surgery right here. Good morning, everybody. We are headed to where, Lincoln? Get my tonsils out. I can't see you. <laughs> Lincoln has suffered from strep throat for multiple times a year since he was like four years old probably even earlier. And he has trouble sleeping. He, his lymph nodes are always swollen. We've done allergy testing. We've, we tried all sorts of different things. So we have decided this will be best for his quality of life for him to go get his tonsils and his adenoids out. He, how are you feeling? Scared. Feeling scared? Yes. But I'm also kind of excited. Okay. So. And he said that I could film. I, I told him I would not film if he didn't want me to. And he said it was okay. So I'm going to take you through and we're going to go to the go to the surgery center and walk you through this whole process in case maybe maybe a, maybe another little kid might have to do this and maybe they're scared. Right, Lincoln, you could walk them through it. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> we'll take good care of you for you. Probably missed for a couple days. <laughs> We're at the follow up after Lincoln's tonsil surgery. It has been a hard recovery. We're on day seven. Last night was probably his worst ear pain, something we didn't anticipate. The doctor did tell us, but we didn't anticipate how bad the ear pain would be in the middle of the night. It's really, really bad for him. So we're at the follow up appointment to just make sure the surgery went well. Overall, what would you say about the surgery, Lincoln? Come here. He still is talking a little differently. Today's the most energy he's had, even though his throat and his ears were the worst pain today, day seven. I heard day seven through nine are the hardest. He's been resting, watching way too much screen time, um, eating. Hmm. He did eat a egg burrito today. <laughs> what hurts? We've missed school though. We haven't gone back to school yet just because he can't. His pain has been so severe in the night. But we're gonna check in and see how everything's going and then pray that this is gonna get rid of all the strep four, five, six times a year and <laughs> all of, a lot of his allergy symptoms and all kinds of things. What would you say to somebody who might be having to get their tonsils out? You're scared at first, but um, you they put the mask on you and you just have to breathe, take deep breaths, and then 10 seconds later, you're just lying in bed. Did it feel like a dream? No. No. It felt like 10 seconds. Can you breathe? Can you breathe better? He had work done in his nose because he had swollen turbinates. He had swollen 
really enlarged turbinates, so they got those out or shaved those down. So that was a lot of the recovery too, is he had um, packing in his nose and all kinds of stuff. He had a lot of work done. Adenoids out, tonsils removed, and then turbinates brought down too. But he is on the mend, praise the Lord. We also took Maverick to do his refresher ISR lessons. We only got one day in though. Um, so we're gonna go back in Dallas in a couple weeks and finish that out. So we just did a little intro of getting him back in the water, having him swim to the steps, but it wasn't an intense swim, float, swim lesson. But I will film that for you guys when I head up to Dallas soon. But I'll show you a little tiny piece of that right here. Go see Miss Joanne? Yeah. And what are we gonna do? We're gonna go swimming, yay! Are you ready? You ready to go? Let's do this. He was swimming with you, wasn't he? Yeah. It was fun. London like loves to have him swim to her. What else, what else? We saw the most amazing double rainbow. Oh yeah. It was so cool. We've never, I've never seen a rainbow like that in my life. We actually saw the end of the rainbow. I'll have to see. It was if, in our neighbor's yard. It was in our neighbor's yard. We saw the very end of a rainbow. In case you're wondering, there is no gold. So. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh. <gasps> what? I've never seen a double in person. Like in in real life, I've seen photos. Maddie, where's the rainbow? What is that? It is right there. You're right. It lands right in that field. Wow. Okay, for all of you guys wondering if there's gold at the end of the rainbow. Rainbow. And there's the end of the rainbow is right there. I don't know if I've ever seen the end of a rainbow, but it's right there. Go get it. Go get it. The kids found a lizard. They caught a lizard. Where is it, by the way? Lincoln released it. But we have a little bit of that right here. What is it? Let Sissy show you. Don't touch. Just look. Okay. Okay. Here you go. Let Sissy. Let Sissy help you. Can we name it? Wow, that's really Touch cool. it. Touch his tail. Aww. Can we name it? Sure. What should we name it? He's really... Good name? <laughs> I'm going to try to hold it. Okay. Try to hold it. Can we put it in your hand? Make it scared. You're too scared, Bobby. You're so cute. I don't know. Big gun. Let's see. 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 let us see let us this is Granger's second book. It's not just a children's book. I think it's good for adults as well. It's a really sweet story. And if you guys have read Like a River, you will understand the tale of the boy talking to a tree. And it's a super, super special story. The, the illustrations are amazing. Make sure you guys go pick this up for yourself or a gift for somebody else. We'll put the link uh, down in the description below, but you can also grab it on Amazon up toward the light. Do you have anything else? What's going on in your world? I didn't get any video of this, but the kids qualified for state archery. So they went to Belton, Texas and did a state archery and they did great. London My, has a, a bruise. It's purple, but. <laughs> a bruise on her arm from that. What else has been happening? What have we been doing? Too many water balloons. Too many water balloons, y'all. Maverick is a fan of those bunch of balloons and we go through <laughs> probably three packs a day. That's like 300 water balloons. He loves them and it's fun and it's just, but it's a lot of cleanup. So picking up water balloons constantly. We've been having Bible studies. We had Easter with the family. Granger is uh, actually away speaking today. Um, if you ever want to see where he's speaking or preaching, you can go on his website, grangersmith.com, see where he is speaking. You can also request that he comes and uh, visits your church or your men's group, anything like that. You could also do the same on my website, Arise with Amber. You can go to the events page or the book now page, I believe, and submit. I am going to, next I'm going to Florida, April 20th, and then April 27th, I will be in London, Canada. 
And I can't go. I know. I'm sorry. It's okay. She might go with me to Florida, though. Not this. No. Really? We're going to go with California. California, maybe later. And then Granger and I are speaking in October, which is far away, but uh, together, I believe, in College Station. Where? So we're, we're adding new dates. Not on your birthday. Okay. Okay, anyway. Um, and if y'all live or... Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sitting here. <laughs> or if y'all are going to be in Illinois, I think I'm coming to that, so. Oh, yeah. Come watch Daddy Speak in Illinois. I think it's a youth thing, maybe, actually. Go to his website. There'll be more details on that. And that is next month? April 13th. Yes. Really? Yeah. Next It's April weeks. 1st, by the way. Yeah, I'm not... None of this is April Fool's, by the way. Happy birthday, yeah. uh, Grandpa. Happy birthday, my... My dad is, it's, it's his birthday. Um, it is, I sent him some cookies today, but we love grandpa. Wishing you a very, very happy birthday. I know by the time you watch this, your birthday will be over, but we love you so, so much. Come here, you want him to eat out of your hand? Yeah. Okay, let's, here, I'll give you some worms. Here, come here. Okay, come here. Okay, hold your hand like this. Hold it like this. Hold it open like this. Look, 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 look. Sit, 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 sit. No, watch, watch, watch. Sit down. He'll come eat out of your hand. Can you show me the baby egg you got? Yeah. Show mommy. <gasps> oh my goodness. The baby egg. Let's go show daddy. Let's go show daddy. Go feed dogs. Go feed the dogs? Yeah. Here comes Luna. Hi, Remy. Is that Luna's toy? up there. That looks like a strawberry, but those are Christmas lights. Let me hold it. I can't reach it. We had some guests stay with us recently in the barn and she had asked, the weather was beautiful last week and she said, is this typical of Texas this time of year? And I said, this is our fake spring. It's like 75 and beautiful. And then it gets really cold again. So it's really cold right now and windy. So we got this fun, fun little play set off of Facebook Marketplace. And the kids have been loving it. Can go up there? Let's show everybody. Can I come? Yeah. Can I come in? Yeah. Thanks. <gasps> wow, that's so cool. Bobby and Sissy got it all decorated, huh? You wanna turn the lights on? Yeah. Do you know how to do it right here? Ooh. Wow. I'm thinking this, this one. Pink one? Huh? Okay. Got those on Amazon, didn't we? Where are you going? No, you need your jacket. Go down the slide in your jacket. It's very cold. You go down the slide in your jacket. Yeah. Okay, go. This is going to go again. Okay. I need to go again. Okay. Hey, Bubba, stop. <laughs> <laughs> He's also been obsessed with the song City Boy Stuck. So every time he goes and gets in the slide, he goes, hey, City Boy Stuck. I don't know if y'all can hear him, but he's singing, spinning, spinning, spinning. 
Um, so yeah, anyway, the kids said we got this for the kids. Just thought it would be fun for them to come out and play. And they have been out here every day. Lincoln read his Bible out here last night. They've been playing, making it their own little fun clubhouse. So very good Facebook find. <laughs> what? We gotta get one more river and put river right there in the empty spot. And put river right there. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Woo! You're gonna do it again, but I already closed the door and turned the lights off. Okay, go. Oh, there's one. I think they're all, that's all done for today. We got seven eggs right now. Two. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Did you check that side? All side? We already checked the other side. All side. All side. Say so okay. bye. Okay, bye. That. Is there any? There, there's none of it. There's none in there. Oh, you okay? Oh, bud. Get out. Okay, let's get out. You gonna take the eggs to the house? Fluff. You need fluff. You need fluff. Here you go. Here you go. I forgot that other one's name. Lincoln, London named the little bearded one Nora. What's the other one's name? Shoddy. <laughs> I think it's Shoddy. <laughs> Nora and Shoddy. <laughs> They're so cute. They remind me of um, our other chicken, Blue, who look like Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> Ready to go? Yeah. Quick little update on our girls. That's Nora and Shoddy over there. The one that Luna had in her mouth. She's good. She is all well and great. And we have a haul of our eggs. So, the perimeter collar is working again. So we are all good. What is that, buddy? Just dirt. The kids are spending time with my mom and dad up in Fort Worth, and I am just hanging out with Mavie. Oh, you got ants. Come on, let's get away. Stand up. One ant was on you. Oh, no. You good? I got it. I'm back to so just me and Mavie and Daddy. Drive Hi. home. Drive home. Okay, can you do a closing like Hudson? How do they say goodbye? Bye. Bye. Do they say like? Subscribe.